Hi YouTube, MTG Geezers here with another Deck Tech video. This time it's for the rota the new rotation cards of Tech here. And we're going green, red, blue, Temera. I think that's how you say it anyway. I'm not very good at re pronouncing words. But f I might take these out for when rotate when it like comes in. As they're okay for now, but the two goblin kaboomists kaboomists. It's good as you do get a two, a two damage artifact thing, but only when they attack. Uh, I like it, and but at the beginning of the upkeep, you have to flip flip a coin, and if you lose it, it dies. So it's okay, but I will take it out. The next thing, which is Soul of Ravnica, this is the only reach I've got in this deck, I think. But I actually have two of I do have two flying, but yeah. It's a good card as you can get three threes from the battlefield and from the graveyard. And it's just good. Yeah. So I would like to run two of those, but it's quite hard to get hold of. As some people want them and some people dislike the picture. The next I've got uh three Prophet of Crufix. I've been keeping them in as creatures you control a flash, which is really good. And you can untap all your creatures and lands and at each like upkeep. And tap step, which is really good. But the only down thing is, is it's a two three. So when rotation comes, I might take one out and put it in sideboard. Uh, the next thing I've got is four Sylvan Carrieds. They are just really good for mana fixing. Hexproof and Defender. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Zero three for two. Very nice, I think. Next thing is. Hornet Nest. Very good if they have a very big creature without trample. I should just get loads of insects. Just and they have death touch, which is good. Uh the next thing is Chasm Skulker. I was thinking of maybe sideboarding them or just keep them in there after rotation, but they do get to you on ones when it dies, but it's only if it has creatures uh plus one tokens on. So it would work with like a Jarni and well, both the Jarnies from Journey into Nyx and M15, but you need to like splash white or do blue white another colour, so they're good, yeah. I have four Course of Crufix, they just get you through mana rushes, and like you get land a uh, life, and the more you get down, the more life you gain, which is really good. So, yeah, there I've got four of them. The next thing is. Two Nylia, God of the Hunt. They're good, as most of my stuff is, has got green devotion. It's indestructible, and it gives your stuff trample. So, yeah. I really like them. And so I've got two. And they also power your creatures if you pay for, which is good. The next thing is... Yisan the Wanderer Bard. I just really like it, as if you pay three... Tap it, you put a counter on it, but you can't do that until the second turn. Unless you get the new Tumur enchantment, which gives them haste, then you can do it first turn. But it's really good as it just gets through loads of cre like, it gets you loads of creatures. And you can, and with Prophet of Crufix, you can do it on their turn too, so you, it's really good. Uh, but I would like to run more than one of them, but I haven't found anyone else who has got one for trade. Now, these I just love. Ch Genesis Hydra. Pay a 2 and X when it comes into the battlefield. Uh, reveal the top. I uh, know, whenever you cast it, actually, so if it gets countered. Uh, you reveal the top X cards of your library. You may put a non land permanent card with converted mana cost 1 X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle the rest of your library. I just like that as it gets you another creature or, say, a planeswalker for that amount. It's just really good, and it also gets X one one counters. These, uh, the next thing is two Curious followers. They're just really good. I'm thinking of maybe getting more because it also works with the Yisan the Wanderer as it untaps it, and it also does it for land too. The next, uh, I've got two Stormbreath Dragons next, as I do like them. But it's only a 4 4, and this is trying to get aggro, but it does have haste and flying and protection in white, so it can't be decided, no, not decided, vanish and lighted. And it also has monstrous for 7, 
So yeah, it's good on in all in alls when there's more than one player opponent. I just love this card. Polymorphous Jest turns every each creature an opponent controls loses all ability all abilities and becomes a blue frog with with the base power and toughness one one. Just amazing. And if you do bar blight or uh, a the sprout, I think it's called return each non land permanent a target opponent. Like controls just just kills everything. It also goes through indestructible. Okay, instance now. Oh well, yeah, that was an instance. Sorry, Chord of calling. I would like to get more, as it's got convoke in a creature heavy deck, which is good. Um, search your library for a okay. search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, and put it onto the battlefield. It's quite good if you need this a specific card, and you can't get it, or it's nowhere near you, so good gets it to you. I've got three shields of Avatar, just mainly for the Goblin Kabuma, so it doesn't kill itself. But it's also good for blocking if they have Death Touch, so it just prevents some of the damage if it's if you've got enough creatures, so it doesn't really die. Uh, you can play it first turn, so yeah, it's good. Um. But I might take them out when the new set comes out and swap them with something else. Chandra Prime Answer. Just amazing. Plus one, it has one damage to target player and one damage to up to one target creature that controls. Yeah. That creature can't block this turn. Just really good. It can kill off one ones, three ones, two ones. Polymorphous chest it then kill something a bit good. The zero is if you draw a land and you've got so much land you can just exile it and then play it. Unless you've played a land, so yeah. I don't normally use its ultimate, but it sucks other top 10 cards of your library. Choose an instant or sorcery and exile that card. You may copy it three times. You may cast the copies without paying the mana cost. Well, I only have three instant and sorcery, so there's no point. But I would like to get three, as yeah. Also, the next one is Cura the Crashing Wave. I just love this card. Just the picture is awesome. But the only disappointing thing is it starts on two loyalties. And it can die really easy, but I love its plus. Well, I love all of its abilities. Uh, until the next turn, prevent all damage that would be dealt to and dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. So that's good, as it can prevent itself, like some damage. Draw a card, then you may play an additional land this turn. So yeah, and minus five, you get an emblem. With at the beginning of your upkeep, you get a blue, a 9-9 nine -nine blue creature. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forests, six islands, five mountains, four Yusenko's, ten, one Temple of Empathy, and one Shivan Reef. I would like to get more, but they're quite hard to get a hold of. If you have any like thoughts or suggestions for this deck, uh, just write them in the comments. Please subscribe as, as we've got the competition going on. Thank you.